So when I went to hell, I realized that hell actually has nine dimensions. It doesn't just have one. Hell has nine dimensions. <clears throat> and as I'm going through each dimension and just being explorative, um, I realized what hell really was. It's not so much so a location. It is a frequency that creates a quantum field around the person. And so each person in hell had their own experience. Some of the things that they were experiencing were things like when they did not show up for themselves. And all of a sudden now you're tormented by the fact that you had dreams and goals and things you wanted to do. But you did not do them because you felt like people were not going to support you. Or maybe people were not going to like what you were doing because it's something that's outside the box. Or it's something that your family perceives to be as wrong, bad, evil, sinful, wicked, confusing, or stupid. And so these people were being tormented by the dreams that they didn't chase. And I remember that really had a profound effect on me. And, um, you know, so after that experience, that whole video is on YouTube, by the way. Um, but after that whole experience, I realized that that we, we, the reason we are here on this planet, for those of us who have went through a lot of things, like that basically is hell. Um, to have trauma, childhood trauma, those life experiences, that shit was hell. But I wanted to know why. Like why? Everything in the world has a benefit, right? Everything in the world has a benefit. Especially the negative, painful, uncomfortable experiences in life. That's what made you who you are. It wasn't the good times that made you who you are. It was the hard times that made you resilient. It was the hard times that caused you to see that it's some people in my life that's not good for me. I need to let them go. It was the hard times where you were able to isolate and see who is really going to be there for me when I really need them and who is not. That's beautiful. It don't feel good when it's happening, but it's beautiful because you're learning how to create your heaven on earth by experiencing hell on earth. It's beautiful. So, you know, I was someone who, um, I've always been a high achiever, and even though I was born with a rare blood disease that is considered to be a terminal illness, and I was told that I wouldn't live past the age of 13, that actually made me want to live every day like it was my last since I was a teenager. So this has always been who I was. And I hear people say I'm a mindset coach. And I was like, oh, that's a thing? And I'm like, this is what I've been doing my whole life. This is how I survived so many experiences that I had laying on my deathbed. I'm a vet in this team, just know I ain't petting. You got all that pee and you still don't get it. You can see, but you got no vision. I jump on the rhythm and disrespect it. Fuck with my meds, get sent to the medics. Kiss me online and see me and beg it. Red card. Might see me anywhere in the world, but I'm still in my end hard. Man can't ring me and ask where I know his girl from. Man better hang up and read out. BBK till I'm old and See now, big money sound got the pounds on speed down. Yeah. Freedom my pre now. Boy, 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 boy. Got the swags on, oh my gosh. Where did you get that? What did it cost? Got couple bait things hollering me now. Yeah. Don't get rude, no. don't act bad. No. Trust me, fam, don't spoil it. Anybody talking shit, avoid, avoid it. it.